when you we're going to use your thumb and index finger and remember alternative nostril breathing helps to balance out your nervous system so starting by closing off the right nostril breathe long and slow through the left Close off the left, exhale long and slow through the right. Now closing off the right nostril, inhale through the left. Feel your spine lengthening as you bring the breath into your body. Close off the left, exhale through the right. Again, inhale to the left. Exhale to the right. One more inhale to the left. Exhale to the right. When that breath is fully empty, breathe back in through the right side. And exhale to the left. Inhale to the right. Exhale to the left. Inhale to the right. Exhale to the left. One more breath in through the right. Exhale through the left. Close your eyes if you haven't yet. And with your arms resting in your lap, take a few breaths and just notice the difference in how your body feels. Typically between four or five breaths on each side, you will feel great relief in letting go of whatever is on your mind. So today what we're going to do is we're gonna, I'm gonna move back and transition to, um, to the floor. Please be sure that if you're unable to get on the floor, you're sitting forward on a chair, all right? So, First thing we're gonna do is if you have a block, feel free to sit up on your block. It's an option and the reason that people use the block to sit on if your back is rounded, this helps to put the pelvis forward. So if you put your pelvis over your shoulders, it allows you to sit taller and it keeps your diaphragm open. You'll feel your pelvis tilt forward and that opens up the whole hip area. Also, if you have really tight hips and your knees are up off the floor, this will help them open up a little more. So that's why the block is used. If you're able to sustain a long spine without using it, take your pick. We're gonna do rocking. So this is spinal cord breathing. It is literally cat cow when you're on your hands and knees, but this saves your hands and knees and you gain the same benefit. You can do this standing as well, which I like to do often. You're gonna roll your tailbone back, squeeze your shoulders together, look up to the sky, take a breath in, and exhale, tuck the tailbone under, chin to chest, elbows together. 
Inhale, squeeze in, look up. Keep a smile on your face. Exhale, chin to chest, elbows together, press the spine back. Inhale. Exhale. Breathe in, smile into the sky. Exhale. Breathe in, curl back, look up. Put that smile on your face, it's part of yoga pose. Exhale, press back, elbows together, chin to chest. Inhale, smile to the sky, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Again, breathe in, and breathe out. Inhale. Exhale. Two more. Big smile. Exhale. Last one. Inhale. And exhale. Now lay your hands on your lap. We're going to do the Sufi grind. This will help to loosen up your hips. So again, I'm going to roll back a little bit on my sitting bones. Let the shoulders roll forward so your spine opens up. And then start to lean out to the side. And as you come out to the side, the top shoulder is going to dip over the knee on the exhale. Breathe in and slide from one knee to the other. Tilt the shoulder, exhaling. Lean out to the side. Chin in, just as you did before, roll the shoulders. Your hands are empty, they're just resting. Exhale. Breathe in, slide through the other knee. No matter how far you go into the pose, we're still benefiting. Tilt that shoulder down on the exhale. Lean out, press the spine back, empty arms. Exhale. Feel free to open your mouth. Close your eyes if you haven't yet. And as you lean over the knee and you tilt that shoulder, if you're feeling any dis-ease, stay in that position for an extra breath. Explore where your body is holding on to tension. Now reverse and go in the other direction. Back to center, align your spine. Extend the right leg, bring your left leg over the right. Bring your right arm across your body. Place your left hand near your spine. 
Take a breath in, lengthen your spine. Do not be concerned about how far you twist. Remember, in every posture, no matter how far you go, your body still want to benefit. Keep both sitting bones on the ground. Close your eyes as you exhale and twist. The taller the spine, the more you'll feel this in your lower abdominal area. So just close your eyes and every time you exhale, see if you can feel your body release a little deeper into your twist. Easing off, come back, align your spine, and let's bring the right leg over the left once more. Left arm presses the body, lengthen your spine on the inhale, twist with the exhale. Coming back to center, one more time to the other side. Left leg over the right, right arm crosses the body, lengthen your spine and twist with your exhale. Keep the body as tall as you can and both sitting bones on the ground. back and align your spine. Now sit any way that it's comfortable. We're going to do a side stretch. So again, if you want to block under your sitting bone, feel free to place the block where it's comfortable. We're going to bring your right arm out to the side. We're going to work a side stretch. You can do this standing as well. It's just a, we're already here. So we can let the earth support us in our posture. You're just gonna place your fingertips on the ground. And the reason I encourage you to use your fingertips is so you don't sink into your arm and shoulder. So lift your right arm, turn the palm up, stretch up. So feel that stretch down into your hip. Imagine someone's pulling on your arm. Take a long breath and slide that arm behind your ear. Using your fingertips, as you exhale, lean it all to the left. I'm mirroring you. Keep those sitting bones on the ground. Tilt your head up. If you see your arm over your head, adjust and bring that arm back behind the ear. Reach up, continue reaching through that upper arm so all the energy is in the upper arm and down through the side into the hip. Relax the upper arm. Put your head at 50 toward your shoulder. Close your eyes. Inhale, bring your hand back up into the sky. Reach up as high as you can. Follow your hand with your eyes out in line with your shoulder and turn the palm back to the earth as you exhale. Move to the other side, lifting your left arm, turn the palm up. Reach up, stretch up like you're trying to touch into the clouds. Get that stretch down into your hips. Move the arm back as much as you can. And remember, if you can't stretch up, just lift your arm to the best of your ability. Arm behind the ear, fingertips to the side. Both sitting bones stay on the ground. So as you come out, check in with the sitting bones. You feel them start to lift. That's as far as you go. Continue pressing those sitting bones back down. Upper arm has all the energy. 
Lower arm is just there for balance. Up. Close your eyes. Keep reaching. Keep feeling that stretch from under your elbow down through your hip. Breathe in as you lift your hand into the sky. Follow your arm in line with your shoulder. Turn the palm back to the earth as you exhale. I'm going to do this one more time. So remember the goal is to release with your breath. Don't worry about how far you go into the stretch. Again, feeding your right arm, turn the palm up. Stretch high up into the sky. Fingertips to the side, lean out to, to your left. Close your eyes, keep stretching out through that upper arm. Press your right sitting bone back into the ground. Put your head up or close your eyes and let your head soften so you're not moving any tension in your neck or shoulders. Only thing that you feel is your fingers stretching up toward the sky or out to the side. So the side stretch helps to open up the liver on the right side and the spleen and pancreas on the left. Lift the weight up off the organs. Inhale, lift the hand back to the sky. Follow your palm with your eyes. Turn your palm back to the earth as you exhale. We're going to try to keep our eyes connected to the movement so it becomes a mindful meditation and movement together. Palm to the sky, inhale, stretch up. Bring your arm behind your ear. Slide the fingers out to the side. Close your eyes if that helps. Press both sitting bones into the ground. Reach out to the upper arm. With your eyes closed, you can check in with your sitting bone and what's happening with the side of your body a little easier. Opening your eyes, inhale, following your hand out to the side in line with your shoulder. Turn the palm back to the earth with the exhale. Long no breath. Remember, if at all you feel tired and you need to rest, just concentrate on your breath. So we're going to work the liver gallbladder channel. Everything connects into the hips and lower back when we're working with these stretches. So know that if one area is tight, you want to keep all of it open as much as we can. Everything connects. So with your right leg out, we're going to work different sets of the thigh today. Palm lifts up to the sky. Lace your fingers. Push up into the sky. So the palms are pushing up. Turn your chest towards your leg, look up at your hands. Hold out, hold. follow your fingertips from the sky down to the earth. And then you come down as far as you can, push out a little more, and then release your arms and just let them hang. The stretch is in front of your arms. And remember, the more you relax your body, the more it will open up. Bringing your chest down toward your leg, Close your eyes and feel your body softening down toward the earth every time the breath leaves your body. Just imagine any tension pouring through the hip or sliding down the leg and up into the heel. Body going in to soften everything. Just 
Keeping your body empty, start with your abdomen. So draw in the abdomen, tuck your tailbone under and start pushing your spine like you're pressing it out of your body and roll up through each vertebrae. Now slide your legs straight ahead. We're working a different muscle in the back of the thigh. We're gonna work all of them this morning. Lace your fingers. Again, push up. Try to keep your arms next to your ears. Keep pushing up. Engage your abdomen just a little bit. That helps your hips release. Follow your fingers from the side down toward the earth. And then come out as far as you can. Just push a little more through the fingers. And release your arms. Closing your eyes, keep your chin lifted up so we're folding out from the abdomen and letting the chest empty down toward the thigh. And finally, the head. One more breath and let your arms and back and legs soften. And engaging your abdomen, tuck the tailbone under, push your spine back, roll up through your body. Take a breath. And switch to the other side. And we'll come back to other muscles in the thigh. Extend your left leg. You can do whichever leg, it doesn't matter. Just so you do both sides. Bring your arms out, palms to the sky. Lace your fingers. Press up into the thigh. Turn your chest toward your leg. Looking up, hold out with your exhale. Get out of your toe. Press out a little more, release your arms, let your head sink. With every breath, feel your body softening a little deeper into the earth. So you're not forcing anything. Your arms are relaxed, your shoulders are soft. Your eyes are closed, your mind is traveling in through your body. tailbone under, press your spine back and roll it through your body. And slide the legs straight ahead. Remember if your mind gets carried away and the thoughts keep coming into your mind, breathe them out. That's part of the discipline. Keep breathing out your thoughts. So all you hear is the sound of your breath. Lace your fingers, try it Lacing opposite the way you normally do. Turn the palms out, lift them to the sky. Press up high. Engage your abdomen, fold out with your exhale. Look out at your top. Release your arms. With your eyes closed, send any tension through the base of the hip or down your leg and at the end of the heel. So visualize that tension leaving your body with your breath. Be aware of your body relaxing a little closer to the leg. Drawing in the abdomen, tuck under the tailbone, press your spine back as you roll up through your body. Take a breath. 
Now fold both knees in. And we're going to come onto our knees for a moment. So if you need to put a blanket or something under your knees, that's an option. We're going to open the knees out to the side. And you're going to turn your feet out. So foot is turned out to the side again as you're able. Come down on your elbows, save your wrist. And as you widen your knees with your feet turned out, you're going to push your hips back toward your heels. Try keeping your head up and looking out at your fingernails so you're not looking down. Remember, gravity is always sinking us down to the earth. So what we want to do is always be sending our energy out or up. So we're sending it out in every direction. The knees are sliding out, the hips are pressing back, gaze is forward. Breath is always soft. Feel free to open your mouth if it feels really tight. And with every exhale, just gently press the tailbone back. Child's pose for a moment. This is another pose where you may want to block, put one underneath your sitting bones, and one underneath your head if you need. So you can pick what you need for yourself. Knees down into your child's pose. Back onto your hands and elbows, and then walk your knees back to come onto your hips. So now your hips are on the ground, your legs are straight, resting on your elbows. Feel free to put some blankets on the ground if you want to. We're going to work the shoulders. If you have any kind of injury in your shoulder, this is a rehab pose. You may not feel comfortable in the beginning with your torn or rotator cuff, as I've had happen, but this is the pose that will help fix that. You just have to be very careful in the beginning. So, parallel arms, and you want to move them in as closer to your body as you're able, because the closer they are to your body, the easier this is. You're going to extend your arms out in both directions. Just extend the arms to the side. You let your head rest over the outer arm. And in this pose, again, practice closing your eyes. Since your chin is hooked over the outer arm, you have to really be mindful not to grit your teeth. This is where putting your tongue behind your teeth will help. Open your nose and chin, engage your abdomen to come out. So we're going to lift up onto the elbows, and then take the arm that was on the outside, and bring it into the inside. Spread your fingers, lift the elbows, extend your arms in opposite direction, let your head rest over the outer arm. Notice how this side feels different than the other. Again, with really tight shoulders, this is the posture. Stay with it. Focus on your exhale. Mm -hmm. 
Keep the nose and chin. And engage your abdomen. Come back onto your elbows. Take the arm that's on the outside. Slide it back. Take this arm that's still in front. Bring it across your body at a 45 degree angle. So the hand that's reaching to the side. Bend your knee. If you need to leave it in the to reach back, that's fine. Your goal then is to try to roll that hip back to the ground. Do what's going to work for your body. Pay attention to this shoulder, that the elbow and the shoulder are on the ground. Make sure you're not sinking your weight. Remember, we want to be lifting up away from the earth. So try to think of your ribs lift, being lifted up. Hand moves back toward the foot. Again, bell bottoms are handy for those of you with a limited range of motion until you get your body opened up. Use whatever you need to to help release the muscle. With this, as you exhale, draw the heel forward. Again, we're not here to judge how far you go into the pose. If you're experiencing a stretch, then we're doing the pose proper for your body today. Try to encourage the heel to move toward your hip. Close your eyes. Tune in to what your body is telling you today. Don't strain, just let the breath empty the muscles. Feel the softening with the exhale. Please up. Slowly release your leg. Bring that arm to the front. Transition to the other elbow. Other arm is going to come back toward the heel of your other leg. Draw that heel forward. Pay attention to the ribs and your upper body. Again, close your eyes once you have a hold of your pant leg or sock or foot, ankle, whatever you can find back there. Notice how one side feels so different than the other. Again, close your eyes. Focus on sending any tension out of your body with your breath. Gently release. And we're going to press down into your forearms, engage your abdomen, and lift your hips. We're going to sit back on our heels for a moment. Bring your legs forward. And just for a moment, wrap your arms around your shins. And try bringing your heels in close to your hips, keeping your ribs lifted up. Give yourself a big hug. And now exhale. You can either roll all the way back with your feet off the floor, or you can try keeping your feet on the floor. Just a little more force. So you can roll all the way down your spine. Continue working on those thighs and lower back. So cross your right ankle and lift the knee. If you prefer doing pigeon, doing pigeon. Same benefit without using the knees on the floor. So wrap your hand under your thigh or over your knee, whatever works for you. And as you exhale, draw the foot forward in the direction of your shoulder. Again, the eyes are closed so that you are aware of when you're feeling the stretch. You're feeling it in your right hip or your lower back. Both. We're going to go as far as it feels right for your body. No one else is ever going to live in your body.
Double release. Leave your ankle cross. Bring your arm to the side. Lower both knees to the right. And look over your left shoulder. And reach out for your left arm. This stretch is too intense for you. Then just take the ankle off of the knee. You can leave it there. Then please do. Just so you're getting a deeper opening through your hip. And you'll also feel this inside your body into your chest and arm. So again, helping to open up all these areas that are normally a little bit compromised. Keep your arm to the side and slide the arm up for your ego. Reach up into your fingertips. Try to keep the arm on the ground as you stretch up through your fingers, feeling that stretch all the way down to your hip. And then soften your arm back to the earth, keeping it heavy on the ground. Let it slide back down your arm. Breath, relax that arm completely. Engage your abdomen just a bit to help bring your knees back up to center. Before you unwind, bring your knee back up. So we're going to repeat just to get a little extra stretch. Exhale, draw the knee to the chest. See if this time it feels a little more open. Our goal isn't to transfer so far that you feel pain afterwards. Our goal is that you feel a difference in the body. Feel this should never hurt. Lower the foot and unwind it. Breath. Cross your left ankle. Over the right leg. Breathe in, bring the knee into your chest. Wrap your arms around the legs. Close your eyes and see how the side feels different. Practice releasing any tension with your breath. Long, slow, even, and soft. You haven't yet closed the eyes, so your mind is in your muscles, releasing any disease. Easing up, bring your foot back to the floor. Arms to the side, lower both knees to the side. So both knees are going to go to the left this time. Reach out your right arm. Empty the right arm. So relax. So it's going in on the ground, heavy. And then allowing that arm to drag. Slide slowly up toward your ear. And then reach up through the arm. See if you can feel that down to your hip. Empty the arm all the way. Slowly back into the side. Inhale, lift the knees. Take a breath. Now your next inhale, lift the legs in. Then you draw the legs with your hands into the breath. Notice how it feels different the second time.
knees up, raise your foot to the floor, unwind your legs. Take a breath. Bring the inside of your feet together. And open your knees out to the side. So if you were sitting, you'd be in butterfly pose. But we are simply bringing our legs out to the side. On our back, so that you don't have any lower back problems. If your legs are really tight, and they're above the ground, instead of putting the blocks under them, try laying your hands on your inner thighs so the muscles can just release down to the floor. And soften the body with the breath. One more long breath. Place your hands under the thigh. Bring your legs back together. Take a breath. Extend both legs. If you have lower back problems, leave your left leg bent. We're going to start with our right leg. Hands are going to be flat to the side. And I want your thumbs to be touching your thighs. Lift your right leg and flex the foot. Try to keep the knee straight if your leg isn't straight. That's okay. Flexing the foot will help open up the back of the leg and sure you can feel the difference and the toe relaxed or pointed and flex. So let's do that a couple times. Point, flex. Turn the toe out and the heel in. Notice that difference in the thigh. We're gonna leave the toe out and the heel in. And as you exhale, you're going to lower the leg toward the floor. Inhale, lift the leg back up to the sky. Exhale, lower the heel. Inhale, lift up. Remember to relax whenever you need to. We're doing one more. Lower down, exhale. Lift back up. Take a breath. And now as you exhale, bring your legs straight out to the side, 90 degrees. The other leg can stay bent or you can extend it out, whatever works for you. If you have your leg extended, point out from your toe of the straight leg, flex the foot of the leg that's out to the side. If it's hard for you, place your hand under your thigh for extra support. You could also use a block, but I, we like to not use props in this particular style simply so your body gets used to trusting itself instead of relying on something that's not part of you. Inhale, lift your leg back up to the sky, point your toe, and now lift your right hip up. So we're going to imagine someone has a hold of your leg. You'll feel yourself tilt to the left, and that's where we want to be heading. We're going to bring our leg over 70 degrees. So look at your toe and point it to the line between the ceiling and the wall in your room. Push to the heel and look over your right shoulder. As you flex the foot of your leg that's leaning to the left, you're going to feel that down through the side, and that's what this pose is for. Don't forget to breathe. So as the leg comes to the left, we look to the right to give a twist in the spine. Bring your leg back up to center. Exhale, lower the leg back to the earth. Take a breath. Lift the left leg, and again, if you have lower back issues, bend your right knee. Flex, point, flex, point, flex, turn the heel in, exhale, lower down, inhale, lift up. 
Exhale, lower down. Inhale, lift up. Last one, exhale down. Inhale, up. Feel free again. Right leg could be bent if you need it to be. Extend the leg out to the left, 90 degrees. So again, use your hand as a prop with the elbow resting on the floor. Your hand can support the thigh or if ideally the arm is next to your body. The thighs resting on your forearm. Left foot is flexed, right toe is pointing out. Bring your leg back up into the sky. Point your toe. Lift your left hip up off the ground and move your leg over to the right 70 degrees. Flex through your foot. Look over your left shoulder. Take a moment and notice how this side feels different than the other side. Bring your leg back to center. Exhale as you lower your leg back to the earth. Take a breath. Breathe in. Bring both legs into the sky. Flex your feet. Now we're going to separate our feet. And we're going to bring our hands to the inside of your feet. Bend your knees so you can reach for the arch of your foot. You want your knees to the outside of your rib cage. So we're in what they call happy baby. And what we're going to do is take our hands and press our knees down on either side of our rib cage. So we don't have the stress of trying to balance, but ideally, the knees are going to come towards the side of your ribs. And what we're doing is we're opening the lower back. If you were in a squat, you would be gaining the same type of stretch. If you're on the floor, you don't have to worry about balancing on your feet or having your heels up off the ground, which is the problem for people. So here you gain the benefit of feeling that stretch a little more in your lower back. Call the dead bump. Now bring your knees into your chest. Give yourself a big hug. Now lay your right hand on the outside of your left knee. Left arm in line with the shoulder. I'm just going to do one more twist out to the right. So the next to the right, left arm is stretching out. You have the right hand over the top of the legs. Turn your left palm up. Slide the hand on the floor. Lift it up toward your head. So the hand is dragging on the earth like you're making a line in the sand. Stretch up through the arm that gets next to your head. And now turn your head to the right. And let your arm roll over your head. I'm going to continue the circle with the hand dragging on the floor. The shoulder lifts the arm up over the hip and let it empty back to the floor. I'm going to circle around the body slowly. So if you're speed racing and through this, you are missing the opportunity to explore what your body's feeling. So move the arm close to the head, stretch up a little bit. See what your range of motion is. How high can you reach through your fingers keeping the arm on the ground? If your arm isn't on the ground, your job is just to keep softening that arm and keeping it limp. Turn your head to the right. 
the arm drag around the head. Continue around the body. Repeat one more time. When your arm comes back in line with your shoulder, use your abdomen just a bit. Bring your knees back to the chest. Give yourself another half. Take your left hand and let it release over both legs, resting your fingertips to the outside of your right knee. The right arm is going to come out in line with your shoulder. Roll both knees over to the left. Look to the right. Stretch out your right arm. Keep your right arm empty on the floor. Slide the arm, dragging the hand in the back of the arm on the ground. Bring it up next to your head. Stretching up. Feel that stretch to the whole side of your body and your head. Turn your head to the left and let your arm drag over your head. Lift the arm as the arm drags over the body and drops on the floor. Slide it back up. Stretch. Turn the head, roll the arm over the head. Drop the arm. Reach up, roll the head. When your arm comes back in line with your shoulder, engage your abdomen, bring your knees back into your chest. Give yourself another hug. For a moment, rest your feet on the floor. Soften your arms to the side. You just notice the difference in how your shoulders feel. We're going to do one more shoulder opener. So bring your hands up over your head. Your knees can stay just as they are. If you want to bring your knees into each other, that's very comfortable as an option. First, our hands are going to be flat against one another. The arms are up, shoulders are going to lift up off the floor and then lay them back down. Slide your arm to one side. So as you bring your arms across the body, that top hand is just going to slide up your forearm. The top arm is going to lay under your chin. You lift your head and turn looking the opposite direction. Bring your head back to center, lift both hands over top, and then slide in the other direction. So again, the top hand slides up the forearm, arm is under the chin, you're looking to the right, as your arms go to the left. Keep both arms empty on the floor. Breathe in, bring both hands to center. Exhale, release your arms to the side. Now the next is an option. We're gonna come into seating position, seated position for one more type of breath work. 
If you want to join me, I'm going to bring my knees in, wrap the arms around the legs, lift the feet, and rock the length of your spine to help massage the vertebrae. So try to come onto the sitting bones, to the scapula, the length of the spine. Repeat this a few times. And then gently cross on the ankles, come to the seated position. Take a breath. So however you need it to get to that seated position, go ahead and join me there. If you want to stay flat on the floor, you can do that too. We're going to do this breath work. And again, the idea of all breath work is to connect the mind with the body and to let go of this ease and that starts here. So if you, again, want to stay on the floor, you can do that. This breath is going to flush the body out of toxins. If you want to sit on the block, feel free. Take a breath in and open your mouth with your exhale. It's a forceful exhale, like you're pushing a cotton ball across the room. So place your hand on your abdomen. Feel the abdomen press in toward your spine. Forceful. If you've ever seen a cat with a hairball, that's another way you can think of it. You're expelling your breath out of your body. It's not comfortable, lift your spine a little taller. If you start to feel lightheaded, that's very normal. We're bringing oxygen up through the spine. We're gonna do 10 rapid breaths. Do the best that you're able. Ready? Close your eyes, inhale. your hands up, lace your fingers, push up into the sky. <coughs> this always makes me cough. Exhale, float your arms back toward the earth. Again, if you want to go back to a laying position, feel free. Otherwise, today we're just going to end our class in this relaxation meditation position. So your legs are relaxed. Your arms are empty, gaze is downward or your eyes are closed. Or you could lay your hands in a traditional meditation pose. One hand lays over the other, and the two thumbs touch, creating a circle. And bringing your attention to the sound of your exhale. The goal is to release that monkey mind. So whether you're laying on the floor or in a seated position, the attention and focus is always on the sound of the exhale. Feeling your body fill completely with the inhale. Soften your shoulders and let every part of your body Expand with the breath.
as we did at the beginning of the class, fully empty every exhale before you begin the next. Remember, no matter how much breath you bring in, your body will make use of it. Our goal is to practice ego, not holding on. In a seated position, please roll onto your right side. If you're laying down, rolling over, and bringing yourself up to a seated position to join us. And gently bring your hands together at your heart. Tilt your chin into your chest. Feel your spine expanding up to the sky as you breathe in. Allow your mind to drift to your palms, noticing your hands touching one another. Feel the connected of each palm touching. Know that when your palms are together, you're sealing in that heart meridian. The qualities of the heart compassion, joy, kindness. Bring out the organs we allow ourselves to open up the rest of the body. When we release those negative qualities of worry, depression, frustration, and envy, we invite our body to experience the qualities of gentleness, openness, kindness we send into ourselves through our practice. The more you cultivate those qualities within yourself, the more you can extend them outward to the world around you. And know that each time you return to your practice, you enhance that light of you that's there to carry you forward on the path that you are chosen to take. Thank you so much for joining me this morning. It was my treat to have you here. Hope you have a beautiful week. Namaste.